since I've been around this little mare, and I mean, we got a ways to go, but you know, I, I, I'd rather train horses I like than not, than not to train at all, you know. But I, I often said, you know, and I'm just just me talking out loud. It's like, boy, what if I really love this little mare? Does no, huh? Yes, yes, yes. yes. But I'm, I'm smiling like. But Charlotte, I can't get a, another you. She settled down a whole bunch and just got relaxed. When they first get here, no matter how they're bred or how they look or whatever, they're all the same horse to me. This mare, uh, she does what I call hunt the fences. When I first got her, she was like, where's the way out? And every once in a while now, when I train on her, you'll hear me say, stay in the pen. Stay in the pen means focus on me. She's starting to be a horse, what we call horses, once we get them kind of comfortable in the stall. Oh, back. Give them a fair shot to get used to the program, know what we're asking, and then get the trust built. My dad was into teams, and every once in a while, he would get uh, a horse or a mule to be trained to be a team horse or whatever. One of my older brothers who I learned a lot from, I, I was always fascinated with some of the things he could do with a team of horses and mules, uh, whether it was on the ground or in the wagon or whatever, and it was just like, boy, I want to do that. Come on. Come on. That a girl. Let's go. I think she's kind of a smart mare, real good. She has good vision back. She's aware of what's going on around her. And I think she has a good sense of what I call independence. She doesn't have to be with a, a group of horses to be happy and to be comfortable. And uh, I, I think that independence is gonna uh, play a big role later on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you getting that idea. You're getting my idea. Okay, my idea becomes yours. Then we become a team. Charlotte was a... A horse that would kind of cow kick, what we call cow kick, when she first was introduced to us in this program. At a girl. So we'll do that until we make sure they're comfortable. So we just reinforce it over and over. Uh, I love to sack a horse out and just get them comfortable where they buy it, where they trust it, and they trust me. When I first did this with Charlotte, she didn't know me, but now she trusts me. Horses blow into each other's nose, so I blow into hers, and so we get to know each other. I don't want it to be a joke. I want it to be comfortable. When you're first coming up in this business as a young trainer, you don't know anything. And I don't mean to be rude when I say that, but I can say that because I knew a lot, but I didn't know anything. Our plan is for our son who's a horseman and he's aspiring to be a future trainer. So it was like, this is an easy route to get to the show pit. And he likes being in there. So if not him, someone else, maybe Carmen, maybe me, who knows? Come on, come on, friend. Come on, friend. Come on, come on. And my first word that comes to mind is she's been fun. The second one is exciting. When I get a new horse in, I think the day that I can't have fun with a horse and I am not excited about training them, I don't want to train no more. I'm happy with that. I'm telling her, you are figuring it out. I'm liking it. At a girl, Miss Charlotte. At a girl, Miss Charlotte. One of my goals is I know there's a show involved and stuff like that, but I always say, when this is all said and done, what kind of horse will I have? I want a horse that anybody would like and love. 